Hi all, it's Sonia from Sonia's Mixed Media and uh, today I have a bit of a colouring haul, a uh, colouring book haul that I did today. <laughs> um, got really excited this morning, just decided, right, I'm going to get a few colouring books from my local stores and um, yeah, had a good day, drove up there and uh, got McDonald's on the way home. <laughs> Uh, put your hands up if that is one of your all-time favourite days. Colouring books and McDonald's. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, just got home and thought I would show you what I got. Now, the first two books are by an Australian illustrator from the early 1900s um, called Mae Gibbs. Now, she is very well known throughout Australia. I don't know about the rest of the world, but if you're in your 40s or older, maybe even your 30s, I would say that you have probably heard of Mae Gibbs and her illustrations. They have been on everything from birthday cards to calendars. Um, they've been... Uh, uh, I think there's been like cartoons on TV. I think I remember seeing off a snuggle pot and cuddle pie. And these books are so cute. I just had to grab them. Now, I don't know if they're available overseas. As I said, they are an Australian um, known illustrator. So, yeah, I'm going to have to see if they are. If they are and you've seen them online um, overseas, let me know. If you can hear some scratching noise, it's actually my little um, chihuahua um, scratching on the chair he's laying on trying to make a bed. So I think he's settled down now though. <laughs> okay, so um, as I said, I got these two books. Let's, let's just get these ones out of the way for now. Called Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie and Friends. A collection of classic illustrations to colour and they are so cute. Now, the first one I did get was the black cover edition. And if you're in Australia, I got this from Big W. And I think it was $9. And I thought that was a really good price. Um, and the second one I got today, because I actually, when I was in the store, I was flipping through it. And I actually thought it was different. And I got this one from Kmart. And it was $6, so it's actually um, cheaper. But then when I got home and started flipping through the two of them, I realised that the illustrations, I think, are the same. But on some of the pages, they've laid them out in a different order in the book. So, yeah, I think that's what confused me in the shop. And I thought, when I was in the shop today, I thought, oh, the white one looks better. But then I got home and realised the same illustrations are in the black book. It's just that they're in a different order, if that makes sense. So at the back, um, they both say um, the exact same thing. This beautiful colouring book featuring over 100 original May Gibbs illustrations is sure to delight gum nut fans of all ages. Transport yourself to enchanting world hidden within the native Australian bush. This intricate colouring book allows you to bring classic Australian folklore to life. Now, if you're not familiar with um, Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie, you are in for a treat because these are so cute. Now, the books are by Scholastic um, and it's got the um, website down the bottom. So it's www.scholastic.com.au if for some reason you can't get to a Kmart or a big W, maybe check that site, but I'm sure you can um, order them online as well through those stores. Now, let's have a look inside. So it's got words and pictures by Mae Gibbs. Now the story, before we get into um, the pictures, Mae Gibbs, like I said, I think was an illustrator from perhaps started 1918. I didn't realise the illustrations were that old actually when I was a child. Um, I thought maybe the 70s or 80s. I thought they came out, you know, when I was a child. But when I looked up Mae Gibbs, it said an illustrator from 1918. I was like, oh my God, like 
what a great illustrator from back in that time. And she also, um, I think, um, wrote books as well. I'm not huge like on knowledge about Mae Gibbs, but I do remember the images as a child, especially in the 80s. Now, what we'll do is we'll go through the black book because I'm a little bit more familiar to the layout. So exactly the same front page in the black one. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful possum to start with. And we have these little gum nut babies. Now, Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie are two little eucalyptus gum nut babies, if you're not aware. And they are so adorable. And I'll just flip through the pages here. As you can see, they're in the Australian bush. And there's kookaburras, a big ant. So uh, I think they are two uh, brothers, if I remember correctly. It's really testing um, my memory here. I think Cuddle Pot, Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie, they're two brothers. And they go on this adventure to uh, find humans. So they go through the Australian bush, um, meeting all different characters, um, trying to find humans. And yeah, basically along the way, they come across kangaroos. And I think there was a lizard friend um, and all sorts of little characters. And but the illustrations are just beautiful, as you can see. Now the paper is, I guess, okay, alcohol ink. Alcohol markers will go through this paper. It's not ultra thin, but it's not thick paper either. But for this price, you're not you're not going to get that for six dollars. You know, you're not going to get quality thick paper. But I actually don't mind this paper. Um, the way I think of it is probably one step up from your printer paper, probably like Amazon paper, I guess. So we'll just have a little flip. Look at this, how cute is this? His little bottom peeking out from under the, the eucalyptus leaf, the gum, gum tree leaf. Oh my goodness, so cute. So of course there's these other little characters as well. And I think here they have a little show. Here we're riding a frog. They are so cute. I mean, look at them. They've got these adorable little eyes. Another kookaburra. So even if you're not aware of Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie, this is just an extremely adorably cute colouring book to, um, to have. I should go like that. My camera's on an angle today because I just couldn't set it up. <laughs> I've got a new tripod. It's my daughter's tripod. And I kept getting my head in the way and I couldn't figure it out. So I'm trying to not... I've got to break the spine a bit. <laughs> okay, we'll just have a bit of a flick through. So I hope everyone is healthy at the moment. I hear that the UK and um, the US is quite bad with COVID. Um, and I hope all my YouTube friends are keeping safe. Um, here in Australia, especially my state that I'm in, uh, we are absolutely fine. We don't have... Um, any case, local cases at the moment the only cases we do have are from returning um, returning um, people from other countries that are coming back into our country uh, Australian citizens who have to quarantine in a hotel uh, for two weeks before they can you know come out into the community again and that's the only cases that pop up now and again uh, in those quarantine hotels so 
they're all safe inside there away from everybody um, but yeah we um, are doing really well um, the only we don't have to wear masks um, everyone's still sanitizing their hands and we have a barcode that everybody has to use when we enter a store um, we have to uh, use our mobile phone and this is cute hiding under the mushrooms uh, we have to use that barcode um, on an app on our phone and just to say that we've been in that store it tells them we've been in that store and what time just in case there is an outbreak that you know they know who to contact so I guess there's people out there that think it's all a conspiracy and you know they shouldn't know our details and stuff but you know who cares if you know if they want to know that I went to the local supermarket or into Kmart <laughs> I really don't care <laughs> unless you've got something to hide so as you can see absolutely beautiful illustrations the line work is really good look at this koala he's holding up a gum nut which is at the end of a stick but he's actually it looks like he's actually using it as like an eye piece or something i don't know what he's doing but it kind of looks like a magnifying glass <laughs> here we have um the cockatoo um and an owl, I think that one is. And they're surfing over here on, again, on the gum leaves. Absolutely gorgeous. Possums. So I'll just flip a bit faster now because I want to get on to the other couple of books I purchased today. And I have been buying quite a few on Amazon lately and I've also bought a few from some local stores. Um, so I'll be doing some videos of those as well probably in the coming days if I get time alone. It's hard to get time alone these days. There always seems to be someone around. Look at these little ones. They're like fish babies or something. <laughs> okay. Nearly there. Got this one here. It's quite a thick book. There's a lot of illustrations in this. Very much value for money. In Australia, um, adult colouring books are very expensive. Expensive, especially if you buy them online and that's the last page now I'll show you the difference quickly so that was the black one the white one now you have a look I'll just show you this I think it's just a difference in how they've done the pages so the last page is the same okay and then I was flipping through and that one's the same. Sorry. <laughs> it's going to make me a liar now. Don't make me a liar. This is making me a liar. And this is where I'm like, oh no, I bought the same book. Oh, dear me. I did get to a stage where they were different. Where is it? <laughs> oh no. They're all the same so far. Oh, maybe they were the same. Maybe I did it wrong. Same. No. Okay, I lied. I think I lied, everybody. They are the same. 
So I've basically bought two books the same. One at $6 and one at $9. Okay, yeah, they're the same. Okay, I thought they had a different layout. Looks like they're exactly the same, but two different colours. Again, the black one, I think I could be wrong. From memory, I thought it was $9 at Big W. White, $6 at Kmart. Really cute books um, worth getting at that price, especially if you're in Australia. Now, the second one, oh, yeah, the second one I got is Colortronics Animals. Again, if you're in Australia, I bought this from Kmart. Oops. But I do believe um, you can get these on Amazon. And it's a Kaleidoscopic Colouring Challenge. And so I see that a lot of people now are into these colour by numbers. So I wanted to try one because I don't have any. So I got this one. Um, again, it was very cheap. I think it was, I think it was $6. Again, I get confused with the $6 and $9. It was either one of the two. They've got the uh, colour codes down here in the spine. And just these cute animals. Um, the lines are really nice and dark, so you can see exactly where you're going. I mean, how cute. These are cute animals. Easy to see. But the thing that got me, because I'm not huge on colouring animals, but the thing that got me was at the back, oh, back cover, I saw the frog and how bright that is. I was like, yep, yeah, that's right up my alley. And it says, follow the number code to colour a rainbow of vibrant pictures. And I was like, yep, yeah, that's got me because <laughs> I just adore colouring bright colours at the moment. I'm just getting out my markers and just colouring everything bright. Just loving it. And then at the back here, it gives you the finished images. I believe. Yep. Look how colourful they all are. Gorgeous. Oh, I really love this otter here. And what else would be my favourite? Oh, look at the tiger. It looks so great without doing, you know, tigers are always yellow and black. How boring. <laughs> how boring tigers. Oh, the shark. Yeah. So I'm going to have so much fun in this. And look how big the pictures are. So it's not this tiny little scrawly thing. The numbers are easy to see. This is going to be fabulous. I'm going to really enjoy this one. And I believe um, they have two more books out uh, in the Colortronics range. I saw them on Amazon Australia. But they didn't have this one on Amazon Australia. They had two others, but they were like so much more expensive. They were like 20 something dollars on Amazon. Whereas this was like quarter of the price in my local store. So what's with that? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, and the last one I hauled was a million bears. Now I know probably everyone has seen um, a flip through of this so I'm not going to go you know flip through every page of this one but I just had to get it and when I found out that it wasn't a huge you know the normal A4 size it was like oh even better I might actually be able to finish this book I got this second hand on eBay because I couldn't find uh, the pandas one anywhere in Australia I just couldn't couldn't find it I could find the cats and I think the dogs online, but I couldn't find the pandas. And I have had no hope at all to find the mermaid one or the sloths, which I probably would want, you know, I'd be interested in those two as well, but couldn't find them. This one here, um, yeah, I got on eBay. It was second hand, but it's never been used, I believe. Um, so, oh my God, these are so adorable. And at the moment, I'm really into cute little characters and cute books. 
um, after colouring uh, quite a few pages of Harry Potter, which I will show in a later video, um, I've been doing more of those and using my markers, I've just, something's just changed in me and I just really want to colour cute, whimsical pictures. And also, after, um, after this video, I'm going to be uploading as well. Oh my God, I love this image in the wash machine. So cute. Yeah, so adorable. You've probably seen it before, but yeah, I had to get this one. Um, now, as I was saying before, I, I've, okay, start again. Blah, 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 blah. I did a haul. Now, I got these today, but I've also been on another haul. <laughs> Shh, don't tell. I've been on another colouring book haul a few days ago and I bought a lot of children's books. And the reason why is, now these were all really good prices. I mean, um, all under $10. But I've come to the conclusion that I really need to stop buying colouring books that are 20 30 Australian dollars. I mean, as a colorist, and I know you're going to know what I'm talking about, but you sort of get this addiction to just keep on buying coloring books. It's like, oh, I've got to have that one. Oh, I've got to have this one. And you watch coloring book hauls, as you did just watch this one, and they tempt you and you go, oh, I must get this one or, oh, I must get that one. And it gets kind of crazy and when you're paying 20 or 30 dollars Australian for each coloring book it becomes a really expensive hobby and all of a sudden your husband's saying hmm do you really need that coloring book and you're like yeah yeah I do so I have made a promise to myself that from now on I'm only buying children's coloring books so I will be uploading a video as well of my colouring book haul of children's books uh, probably in a week or two. You know, I, I can't guarantee a week or two. Maybe it's a couple of days. Maybe it'll be in three weeks. Uh, it just depends on when I get free alone time. Um, but I'm going to show you all these fantastic children's colouring books and just really explain why I've bought them and how they're not really that bad and if you've never thought of getting children's colour in books then maybe the video will change your mind especially if you love like the whimsy style um you know the whimsy cutesy yeah kawaii if you like anything like that I mean these children's colour in books that I bought and I'm talking about you can see my nose in the camera sometimes. How disgusting. <laughs> Sorry, people. Um, they're like $2, $4. So if you're buying them for $2, $4, you know, hell, have 50, 60 of them, I say. <laughs> so anyway, that's coming out on a later video. And also, I may be having a giveaway for one of these Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie and Friends books because, no, I do not need two of them, <laughs> which I've just discovered are exactly the same. Oh, how silly. Anyway, it may be open only to Australian viewers, so hopefully I do have a few fellow Australian um, viewers here. And I will talk about that giveaway at a later date. So please subscribe and uh, so you can see my new videos. And I'll talk about um, giving one of these away and what you have to do. Okay, everyone. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye.